don't get so comfortable in your failures that you are uncomfortable when God gives you the opportunity for victory. culture that sometimes encourages us to find comfort in failure and discomfort in success. You got more people saying to you, hey, come and join my pity party. I, I haven't done anything in my life. I probably ain't gonna do much in my life. Hey, and maybe you should come and join me too. We got something in common. We can hang out. And some of us have friends that we are friends with them based on our failures. You're friends with them because they failed in all the stuff that you failed in. <laughs> You're only friends with them because they got the same bad habits that you have. You're only friends with them because when you're in a negative mood or trying to do something destructive, they encourage you to do it because they're doing something destructive too. And I find that stuff like that makes you just super comfortable in your failures. And so you just get used to failing or get used to living just a low level of life and just getting used, you, you don't look forward to anything that's victorious. And for some of us, it's because we feel like we've been losing for so long that it's like, what do we have to look forward to? So I'm just gonna, you know, rock it out with these friends that I do have, at least they understand me. But I want you to know that God just may have something greater for you. And sometimes I think what happens is we just expect the worst so we're not disappointed. If I don't expect anything good to happen, then I guess I can't be let down. How's that working for you? Because I don't believe that we were created to have low expectations. I believe that we were created to be great and to be extraordinary and to do that through our relationship with Christ. God has a plan for you and that he knows what the plan is for you. And I guarantee you that God's plan is always to move you forward and to never take you backwards. There's a story in the Bible where the children of Israel were walking around in the wilderness and God was going to give them this land. And so what happened is the Bible says that Moses sent spies out to look at the land. There were 10 that went. Eight of them came back and said, there's no way we can take the land because there's giants over there. And man, they're really big. I don't think we can beat them. But then there were two of them that came back with a different story. And two people was Joshua and Caleb. They came back and said, uh, no, I know it doesn't look like we can really take them and they are really big, but I really feel like we could win this, that we don't have to fail against this one. And what I came to realize is that those, that eight were looking through the eyes of unbelief and two of them were looking through the eyes of faith. When you measure your problems through the lens of unbelief, you're always gonna come out with, I can't. When you measure your difficulties against your ability, you're always gonna come out with, I can't, I just can't do it. I can't, I can't, there's no way I can't, there's no way I can go back to school. There's no way I can be um, the, the, the person that uh, my parents expect me to be. I, there's no way I can't own the, I can't own the business. I can't make a lot of, I can't. Well, that's because you are using yourself as a measuring stick. But when you use the word of God as your measuring stick, then it's a different story. Then you turn around and say, I can because God is with me. So who's your measuring stick today? Is it yourself or is it the word of God? When you measure your difficulties against your ability, it will always result in an I can't. Because the truth is you probably don't have the ability. You probably don't have the ability. But with God, he will give you the anointing and the ability and, and the means to be able to do it. The giants in your life are bigger than you. Your bills are bigger than you. Your marital concerns are bigger than you. The thing that's happening at your job is bigger than you. That big conflict in your family is a giant. It's bigger than you. But your challenges and your giants are not bigger than God. And when you measure those giants against him, you can really walk away saying, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me.